The person that I hired was my bookkeeper. She was also um, working with a business manager. I discovered that an American Express payment was larger than I thought it should be. Uh, and in calling American Express and walking back through three months, um, I discovered that I had bought about $55,000 worth of clothing in a year and a half. And to my knowledge, I had used the card once to buy carpet for a client, and the clothing wasn't <laughs> included in that invoice. I discovered a check in the bookkeeper's drawer with the manager's name on it and nothing written on the check, blank check. And I, uh, what are you doing with this? Well, sometimes we have to pay OPPD and you're not here. And the bill is due. And we don't have enough money until that deposit goes in. So we just have to have that extra check here. It's our cushion. Looking back, um, there would be days, oh, I'm so sick, I can't come to work, but I'll come in the evening. I'll come about 4 o'clock. Maybe by then I'll feel better. So I found out that she could come and work at night and she could hide things a lot easier. They would come up with bogus bills. They would write the check so that in QuickBooks, it looks like we've paid this bill to the accounting firm. Um, she loved having her office hidden behind a, a little wall. She didn't want, she was in an office, two people together. She said that uh, after a while, she said, you know, there's just so many interruptions and I can't get my work done because these people distract me. So people who start hiding, People who start working after hours, she wanted to work from home on the computer. And I just was like, there's something wrong with that. I can't let that happen. So I said no. And to my surprise, as we started digging deeper, we discovered she was working from home. When I discovered in May that we were so, we were in such financial trouble that we were going to take bankruptcy in October, it broke my heart. It affected everything. It affected my reputation. Um, it affected my customer base. Also my, my employees. Everyone felt something from it. She was prosecuted and she admitted to the theft. Um, but she didn't have to go to jail. She had five years probation. Um, she had to pay me $60,000 of the 350 she took because the judge decided that's all she could afford to pay. So, and it was dear. That $60,000 was, was the only thing I had sometimes to just keep the lights on going through it. One of the first things I think is to look at their record and to be very diligent. If these people are going to be handling money for you, you need to really look deep. People will steal from you if there is an opportunity. Don't make it too easy.